For today's video, we are going to talk about what is synthetic division and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say synthetic division, it is an abbreviated process used to divide polynomials with two or more terms. So let's have the first example. On number 1, we have quantity x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 14 divided by quantity x plus 2. So the first thing that we are going to do is to write the coefficients of the dividend into descending power of variables. And that is 1, 3, negative 5, and negative 14. Since our divisor is x plus 2 and our constant is positive 2, we are going to write the opposite sign of the constant that is negative 2. And then let us bring down 1. 1 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 2. And let's add 3 plus negative 2, that is positive 1. 1 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 2. And negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 14. Negative 14 plus 14, that is 0. So this will be our remainder. And to write our answer, let us have x cubed divided by x, that is simply x squared. And then let us have 1. Then let's have x. And we have negative 7 as our constant. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have quantity negative 2x plus 3x squared minus 4 divided by quantity x minus 3. So as you can see, our dividend is not written in descending power of variables. So we can rewrite this one as quantity 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 divided by quantity x minus 3. And we can write the coefficients of the dividend that is 3, negative 2, and negative 4. And since our constant is negative 3, we are going to have the opposite sign of our constant that is positive 3. And let us bring down 3. 3 times 3, that is 9. Negative 2 plus 9, that is 7. 7 multiplied by 3, that is 21. And negative 4 plus 21, that is 17. Since our remainder is not equal to 0, we can write our answer as 3x squared divided by x, that is 3x. And let us have 7 as our constant plus our remainder, that is 17, divided by our divisor, that is x minus 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have quantity 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 16 divided by quantity x plus 2. Since our dividend is written in descending power of variables, but there is a missing term, and that is x squared, we can rewrite this one as quantity 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed plus 0 multiplied by the missing term minus 4x minus 16 divided by quantity x plus 2. So let us identify the coefficients of the dividend, and that is 2, 3, 0, negative 4, and negative 16. Since our constant is positive 2, we are going to have the opposite sign of the constant that is negative 2. So let us bring down 2. 2 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 4. 3 plus negative 4, that is negative 1. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 2, that is positive 2. 0 plus 2, that is 2. 2 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 4. Negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 16. And negative 16 plus 16, that is 0. So this will be our remainder. And to write our answer, let us have 2x raised to 4 divided by x, that is 2x cubed. The coefficient is and then let us have negative 1x squared plus 2x minus 8. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have quantity 9x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 6x plus 2 divided by quantity 3x minus 1. 
As you can see, our divisor is 3x minus 1, where the coefficient of x is 3. We want to rewrite this one in the form of x minus c, where the coefficient of x is equal to 1. In order for us to do that, let us divide the dividend and the divisor by 3. So let us have 9x raised to 4 divided by 3, that is 3x raised to 4. Negative x squared divided by 3, and that is negative 1 third x squared. Negative 6x divided by 3 is negative 2x. 2 divided by 3, that is 2 third. And then, 3x divided by 3, that is x. Negative 1 divided by 3, that is negative 1 third. Since our dividend is written in descending power of variable, but there is a missing term, and that is x cubed, we can rewrite this one as quantity 3x raised to 4 plus 0x cubed minus 1 third x squared minus 2x plus 2 third divide by quantity x minus 1 third. So let us identify the coefficients of the dividend. So we have 3, 0, negative 1 third, negative 2, and 2 third. Since our constant is negative 1 third, let us have the opposite sign of the constant that is positive 1 third. So let us bring down 3. And then 3 multiplied by 1 third, that is 3 over 3, and that is 1. 0 plus 1, that is 1. 1 multiplied by 1 third, that is 1 third. Negative 1 third plus 1 third, that is 0. 0 multiplied by 1 third, that is 0. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. And negative 2 times 1 third, that is negative 2 third. 2 third plus negative 2 third, that is 0. So this will be our remainder. And to write our answer, let us have 3x raised to 4 divided by x, that is 3x cubed, and the coefficient is 3. And then we have 1, then x squared, plus 0, x minus 2. Since the coefficient of x is 0, we are going to cancel this one, and we are going to have 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have quantity 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 17x minus 12 divided by quantity 2x minus 3. So as you can see, our divisor is 2x minus 3 and the coefficient of x is 2. We want to write this one in the form of x minus c, where the coefficient of x equals to 1. In order for us to do that, let us divide the dividend and the divisor by 2. So let us have 4x cubed divided by 2, and that is 2x cubed. And then, negative 12x squared divided by 2, that is negative 6x squared. 17x divided by 2, that is 17 over 2, and then x. Negative 12 divided by 2, that is negative 6. On the other side, we have 2x divided by 2, that is x. Negative 3 divided by 2, that is negative 3 over 2. So let us identify the coefficients of the dividend, that is 2, negative 6, 17 over 2, and negative 6. Since our constant is negative 3 over 2, let us have the opposite sign of the constant, that is positive 3 over 2. So let us have 2. And then 2 multiplied by 3 over 2, let us cancel 2, it will give us 3. Negative 6 plus 3, that is negative 3. So let's have negative 3 multiplied by 3 over 2, that is negative 9 over 2. So let us add this one, 17 over 2 plus negative 9 over 2. Let us copy the denominator, let's have 17 minus 9. And that is 8 over 2. So we are going to have 8 divided by 2, that is 4. 
So let us have 4 and then 4 multiplied by 3 over 2. 4 times 3, that is 12, divide by 2, and that is 6. And negative 6 plus 6, that is 0. So this will be our remainder. And to write our answer, we are going to have 2x cubed divided by x, that is 2x squared. Then negative 3, and then we have x plus 4 as a constant, and this will be our answer. On our last example, we have quantity x raised to 5 plus 4x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 12 divided by quantity x squared plus 4x plus 4. So let us identify first the coefficient of the dividend and that is 1, 4, 2, negative 5, 4, and 12. Since the first degree and the constant terms of the divisor are 4 and 4, we are going to have their opposite sign, and that is negative 4 and negative 4. So let us bring down 1. So let us have 1 multiplied by negative 4, and that is negative 4. And this one is also negative 4. So let us add 4 plus negative 4, that is 0. 0 multiplied by negative 4 and negative 4, that is 0 and 0. So let us add negative 2 plus negative 4 plus 0. That is negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 4 and negative 4. That is positive 8. So let us add negative 5 plus 0 plus 8. That is 3. And 3 multiplied by negative 4 and negative 4. That is negative 12 and negative 12. So let us have 4 plus 8 plus negative 12, that is 0. And 12 plus negative 12, that is 0. So this will be our remainder. And to write our answer, let us have x raised to 5 divided by x squared, that is x cubed, and the, remain, and, and the coefficient is 1, and then we have 0x squared minus 2x plus 3. Since the coefficient of x squared is 0, we are going to cancel this one. It will give us x cubed minus 2x plus 3. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.